Please use this app responsibly, watch first and practice later. For our backward chassis, we're going to be combining a number of skills that you've already come across. So we're going to start with our backwards half lemons. Facing feet around our circle path, we're going to turn the face into the circle and hug the circle with our arms. Bended knees, turned in toes, and making sure that it's only the outer foot that turns in because we're going to half lemon and as we complete that half lemon we're going to draw this foot closer and closer slightly ahead of our skating foot. Now our central leg, the one closer to the center of the circle, is going to be bearing our weight. However the foot that did the half lemon should be carrying none of our weight. If I wanted to pick that foot up, which actually we're going to do right about now, we should be able to without having to remove our weight from that foot first. We don't want to see that. So joining up the first step with the second step. Now we've got first step, our half lemon, pushing round, drawing close and into our single line, raising our foot. We're gonna drop that foot back down. Now we're in the middle point between those two steps. Second step, we're going to lift up our foot just like we did with the forward chassis. Remember flexing that foot so that it's a little bit like you're getting ready to squash a tomato underneath your foot. Flexed foot up and straight back down again, avoiding letting that foot fly up behind you, which can quite often happen. We wanna make sure we flex, pick up, and straight back down again. Now let's take a look at some continuous backward chassis. Our main focus is going to be getting the push nice and smooth to really continue our glide motion, to feel at ease as we carry that flow around the circle. Of course, we should always practice both directions and with directionality in mind, making sure that we have a good, tidy upper body alignment that really falls in line with the circle, a leading hand, a following hand, and the gaze of the eyes along the circle line. The advantage of looking where we're going is the same whether we're figure skaters or hockey skaters. There's a distinct game advantage to being able to observe the ice ahead of you so make sure, hockey skaters, that you really are gazing along your circle line to see what's coming. The more at home we feel with this skill, the more we can try testing ourselves to generate more power and travel further around our circle in fewer strokes. So as we learn to connect those movements, we want to make sure the feet always are coming nice and tidy back into that space directly underneath us. Neat feet will always be your best friend. So we're going to reiterate one more time. We start with the push, half a lemon until that foot raises off the floor. Back together, parallel feet underneath you. Raise the foot on the inner circle and then drop that foot back down. Here we go, join again. Half lemon and lift, feet back together. Raising and lowering. Half lemon, lift, back together, raising up and lowering. All the time really focusing on those feet staying nice and neat underneath you. Each time you've finished a pushing action or a lifting action, we want to make sure those feet come right back underneath you, neutral, parallel, continuing the glide for you.